Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you two new figures from da -da 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 -da. Pacific Rim. Yes, so on the left we have we have Striker Eureka. Yes, Striker Eureka, the Jaeger. And, and on the right, on the right, Otachi, the Kaiju. Ooh. All right, so we want to say a great big thank you to McFarland Toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So, okay, oh, so it's got a. Kinda, oh, so look at that! Kinda has cool. Almost like a. Kind of looks like a schematic, maybe. Yeah, on the back there, very of cool. The, of the Jaeger, and then on the back of the Kaiju, it just. Oh yeah. It's like a. Of him, but it's like. Um, almost like he's in a cage, but it's, I guess it's on the screen. Flying Fury. Ooh. Oh, and it does give their stats down here. Yeah. If you look on the back of the box, so that's really cool. And they do come with, um, comic books, which are cool, um, because you collect them all, you get different, um, comics and different, you know, in different, uh, um, <clears throat> in different order. Yes. So, so, so far, there are, um... Four Jaegers and four um, <clears throat> Kaijus in the set. Um, and there are, like, each one has, like, the these come with the Pacific Rim Aftermath. These have the Tales from the Drift, and it's one through four and one through four. So awesome. each one, has, like, I guess it completes the series. All right, let's go ahead and get these two figures and the comic books out of their boxes and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right, so there's our figures yes. out of their boxes. Let's go ahead and take a... How do we want to do this? We want to show off the comics first? Sure. Or which which character are we going to show off first? Um, I guess Otachi. Start with the kaiju and move to the Jaeger. Got it. We're going to go right to left because he's left-handed. He does everything <laughs> backwards. <laughs> so let's start here. So here's... I'm going to let you show off the comic. Okay. Um, we just want to show off just a little bit of the illustrations inside and show you the awesome artwork. Um, yeah, these are normally really cool. Um, I mean, it's just, you know, full color, you know, great artwork, um, looks like premium quality paper. I mean, it's, it's and this is like really a bonus, nice. you know, yeah. so very, very cool. cool. And, and that then, one says number four. And then we have number three of Aftermath. So, Ooh, look at that. Yeah, just the. Oh, that looks like a jaws, like a um, like a shark mouth he was going yeah. into. So very cool. Yep, awesome. And that was number three, you say. Mhm. Mm All right. So now let's show off what he comes with. Now they both come with a set of these, so they these are identical. Um, and you have like the, so but like I said, here they are. They're identical. They have like the fighter jets. And um, then we call these like, um, what do you call these helicopters? Yeah, like uh, a military helicopter. Yeah, like a military helicopter with the <clears throat> helicopter blades at the top. Um, they almost look like a, look at the, the um, they almost look like portholes, the, the windows on the side. So very cool. They also come with these buildings. Ta da! So um, if I could show them. Oh, they go. Yay! <laughs> so they. They come, they come apart like this, and then you can see the top is like that. I mean, each section, the top of each section, and then it's hollow. You get this base, which has like the, the road going each way, and then it has a place to build the building. Um, this one's flat, so that one goes on the bottom. And then each one has uh, where the top is. Now, it doesn't matter. You could make a short... We discovered this last time yeah. because of the way it lines up. You could even do this <laughs> and have it grow. So it doesn't ma you doesn't have to be in a specific order. It just needs to be that that piece, um, you know, the hollow part is on the bottom. So very cool that they have these that they can kind of like destroy as yeah. they're battling. That's super cool. And they each come with one of those. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the kaiju. So this is Otachi. He's got like blue uh, or teal like accents down the scales, which is really cool. 
I'd be interested in a black light if it yeah. because it kind of looks it looks like it's almost glowing now because of the brightness of that color on these darker colors. There's his mouth. Oh, he's been eating some blue marshmallows. <laughs> And he's got these two like horns at the top of his head um and then here's this tail which has like the claw on the end of it there's so much detail and shading and texturing through here it just looks really awesome um and then he's got this uh like the muscle or tendon or something going up through there let's look at the other side and then up through this side of the arm let's see that's how yeah they're both like that and then you got like this design of his hind legs um, this toe is lifted up and this one's on the ground so that's interesting and um, then you have all the like I said all the details here his arms stretched out look at that so that one almost looks like it's stretched out a little further kind of yeah. reaching and this one's kind of like um, holding him balanced but um, I'll go ahead and let you show off his articulation okay yeah these are fairly simple um, to make her make them easier to play with um, but you do have uh, articulation I guess you would call it the hips um, at the shoulders um, and that's pretty much and then of course he's kind of soft okay. I mean it, it won't stay but it does Tail it is kind of level. you know interesting that you know they make him soft instead of the heart like this part is hard plastic but then like his head is like pliable and the part. tail yeah so okay. very cool all right now it's on to striker eureka yes so let's go ahead and take a look all right so there he is he almost looks like he's actually uh could be some kind of jet doesn't he yeah um with the features that he has on him um like a robotic jet or something um there's his facial sculpt or should I say robot head, maybe? Or someone yeah. inside of the suit, maybe? Well, there is, but of course they're, you know... Teeny tiny. They would fit in the helicopter, so yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's the, like, sides. It's got, like, two blades on it. It almost looks like these move. A little afraid to mm -hmm. move them, but you can see that it's made to look like they're, yeah. you know, supposed to kind of go out and um, <clears throat> act as a weapon for him. Um He's got some like green, almost mossy look there. So they kind of have like some battle dirt um, going on. Here's the little blades in the back. Here's the boots. So very cool. He's got a little bit of green. Like this color is repeated here, but this one is a little bit more yellow. Um, and then he looks like he has two Millennium Falcons on his <laughs> shoulders. So very cool. Um, I'll go ahead and let John show off his articulation. Okay, so he is going to have <clears throat> articulation at the shoulders. So it will kind of go out as well as around. He has articulation at the elbows as well, so it will bend. Um, that's on both sides. And then he has articulation at the hips and the knees. So he can bend there as well. And then, of course, the like neck or head articulation so he can look from side to side so um, very cool and awesome to add these two new figures to our pacific rim collection all right so there's one last look at striker eureka and otachi we want to say another great big thank you to mcfarland toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today thanks so much for watching as always come back and see us like subscribe and we will see you next time